Hi everyone, I'm Catherine with Game Reactor and we are here at the pre-jump fest I went talking about God Eater Resurrection. And you are actually releasing two God Eater games that is supposed to sum up five entries that is already out in Japan. Could you tell me a little bit about the series and what is specific and unique to each of the games? So God Eater is um, it's the fifth anniversary of God Eater in Japan. And um, the story is basically takes place in a post-apocalyptic world where um, human nature um, are attacked by uh, the monsters called origami. And the only way humanity can uh, face these monsters is by using the god arc, which is um, the, the huge weapon you see behind you. And the people who can wield these god arcs are called the god eaters. So we would like to talk about the game design now. Um, so it's basically um, a very speedy, fast-paced action, uh, God slaying, uh, sorry, uh, monster slaying action game. And um, the selling point is, um, is a very dramatic um, storyline based um, action game. Speedy and high tension. monster slaying action. So could you maybe tell me a little bit about the two different fighting systems of the two games? The main system in God Eater 1 is the uh, Predator style. Basically you can um, transform the weapon into like a devour system. You can bite the uh, origamis and uh, this is like the core concept of God Eater. In God Eater 2 they have um, two new systems. Um, one is blood art. Um, basically, the more a player uses um, a move, they can develop these moves. And the second um, uh, selling point of the game is the uh, blood uh, uh, blood rage. And this is basically um, by uh, the players can place a pledge on um, a character, and by meeting the uh, conditions of this pledge, they can power up during battle. So earlier in the presentation you were holding, you mentioned two pillars of the games. Could you maybe tell our viewers a little bit about these pillars? So the first um, pillar that um, I'd like to talk about is the uh, character creation and um, players can actually create their own characters and um, basically kind of feel immersed in the storyline. Um, so it's the character creation and the drama aspect of the game. And the second part is the uh, very intuitive, fast-paced action. Um, and the game mechanics. So players can really feel immersed in the game and at the same time um, enjoy the battle system and slowly and slowly get immersed in the game. まあ、この相乗効果でこのゴッドイタシリーズというのはま、誰もがこのアクションに慣れながらま、感動できる。ま、そんな作品になっています。so people who are anxiously waiting for the game to come out can actually already now watch the anime online for free. But when will the game come out and on what platforms are we gonna see it? Yes, as you say, um, the anime is already available. Um, the game will, is, uh, will be coming out 2016 summer, summer in Japan. Um, so the uh, US and European users should be able to uh, experience not just the game but the anime as well. So, you know, enjoy the franchise as a whole. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.